So today I'm going to talk about CSS media queries. So first let me go to, to I have Sublime Text and let me zoom in so you can see it. So I'm just going to open up a basic document. We'll name this CSS Media Queries. Say we have div.box and we have something in here. So this is your basic your basic setup and let's go ahead and put a style in here. Sublime Text 3. I'm, I'm using Sublime Text 3. So let's go ahead and view this in the browser. This, this is nothing fancy and I'm going to zoom in here just so you can see it on the video. But there's welcome. Let's go ahead and create another box. Um, and usually I do be more concerned about formatting, but this is just a demo. So let's go ahead and do something. Let's um, uh, let's get, get some space here. But let's say we want to do something like we want box with. Uh, let's do background color red with. Let's do 30%. Let's just see what this looks like. So now let's go ahead and do. Let's float left. Now this is. I'm. This, you never do this in real life. But I'm just trying to explain CSS3 media queries. So let's do margin um, 20 pixels, just so you, just so you can see that these are two separate boxes, and we can and you know size them. And so you never you never ever do this in real life. But I'm just trying to get the point across of CSS media queries. So now let's start with the media query. So this is how it works. It's media screen and max width. Let's do 500 pic 500 pixels. So let's open that up now. Now because we use this this right here, anything between this and this will happen at uh, well, well. Let me just go ahead and show you. So dot box, this uh, background color blue. So let's go ahead and I refresh. Uh, so I I save this here and I refresh this and this this is a good example. This will help you out. So let's slowly make it smaller, 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 smaller. And it turns to blue. So anything that's 500 pixels and below will be blue. And why is that? This is because we we made 500 pixels there. So this is the basic CSS3 media query. So say um, you want, So this is more common that you do this. So you do float. I uh, no, Inherit. So so just for, I'll refresh the page and let's go ahead and see what that looks like. We make it smaller and smaller. And then at 500 pixels, it goes down to one column. Uh, oh, and the width. So let's go ahead and refresh this and see what it looks like now. So this is more common what you do. Like, like you have some, uh, let's get rid of the margin. Let me get rid of the margin. So you, this looks terrible, and you never do this in real life. But this is given given the point across that once. So you have so maybe you have like a, a row of different stuff, but you want it to collapse down once you get smaller. There, there it goes. Now it may now 500 pixels and below, you can you can change whatever you want. So um, see how this is nested inside of this, and between it's between that and that. So this is the basics of a CSS3 media query. So let me just get rid of this and let me save that. So there's nothing here. So let's start. Out, let's blank on a new document. And this is gonna bug me. I gotta fix this. S and we're gonna capitalize that. So nothing fancy here. So let's go ahead and do uh, style body. And let's go ahead and close style. So the background color, that's all red now. And this is another example of a CSS3 media query. So let's do media screen and max width. And you can make this whatever you want. I'm going to make it 1,000 pixels for this time. Um, so we have our CSS3 media query. So anything between this. And this, that a thousand pixels or less will be affected. So let's go ahead and do body background color blue. And so here we go. So if the background color is red, we make it smaller, and now it turns to blue. So you never do this in real life, but I'm just giving the point across that you can set it for let's let's change it to 400 pixels. This can be anything. So um, we'll make it smaller and smaller and smaller, and once you get down to what was it, 400 pixels, it turns blue. So that's how that's how you can change things. Now there's also something else you can do. You can you can add multiple um, media queries. So let's do it again. Media screen and max width. Uh, let's do 200 pixels. Body, background, background color yellow. So so what's going to happen is it starts up here. 
it's going to make the background color red. Then it comes down here and it says, oh, here's a media query. And 400 pixels or less will make it blue. Uh, we do it again. If, if it's less than 200 pixels, so between 400 and 200 pixels, it'll be blue. But at, once it gets down to 200 pixels, it'll turn yellow. So if everything works right, this should get the point across of a CSS media query. So we make it smaller. And what was it? It's 400 pixels. So it's a ways down there. So now it turns blue and we can make keeping it smaller and I can't make it smaller. Let's change this. Let's change it to 400. Let's change this to 800. So there's the yellow. Yeah, so red, once it gets to 800, it's blue. Then it get, once it gets down to 400, it turns yellow. So that's how you can change stuff based on um, CSS media queries. Now in real life, you'd probably do something like you might have div.box and you might have, uh, say you have, uh, you have some text in there. Uh, let's just copy this a couple of times. So in real life, you might have some boxes, and you want them to be right next to each other. Or you, I'll just do some simple code here. Let's do uh, dot. What did I name it? Dot box. Yeah, dot box. So we float that left and do 500. Uh, let's, let's do 300 pixels. That'll be better. So in real life, you'd probably do some. I'm gonna get rid of this. Uh, I'll get rid of these media queries and I'll make the back, I'll get rid of this also. Oops, get rid of that. So we have our boxes here and in real life you might do something like this. Screen, uh, media screen and uh, let's do, uh, let's do uh, three, let's do 500 pixels. So I'll just so I'll just so you make it smaller, and actually that's not, uh, uh well I'm trying I'm trying to just think of a good example to show you maybe this is a bad example maybe I'll just forget rid of that, but hopefully this will give you a better look at what CSS3 media queries can do for you in uh, in uh, HTML. So like if you if I was trying to think of a good example, so like you have your boxes floating left, but once you let's, let's see uh, media screen and. Say the max width is a thousand pixels. Uh, let's just put a border. Uh, this this should this should help you out. So so we're, we're we're large, and then once you make it smaller, we we get rid of we make the width be hundred percent. So in real life, this is this is more of a real life example where you stack some stuff. And you get it smaller than on mobile devices, and you want it to take up all of the width. So hopefully, this is a good. You know, I don't want to be. I don't don't want it to be too confusing, but I think this will help you out um, in learning about CSS media queries. I hope it helps.